This is uh, Chibia, Chibit 2008, we're on the Abit stand, and we found a new mid, lurking away behind the glass, and this is a slider type device, very uh, similar in size and weight to the Gigabyte uh, mid we've uh, looked at earlier, and the, um, the USI, ignore USI, that's actually the uh, OEM, this is going to be branded Abit, and it's basically 4.8 inch uh, screen, touch screen, uh, targeted to have a Linux uh, operating system with either Red Flag or Ubuntu Mobile running on that. Uh, we have a camera at the front. We've got, uh, I read on the specifications that there's a options for the camera up to two megabit, two megabit pixels. Then we've got a slider keyboard. This is not a final keyboard. The uh, the keys will be changed uh, slightly to give it a, a better feel. But actually, spacing-wise on the keyboard, it's pretty good because it's got that slight split feature on the keyboard it helps to keep the uh, the keys within range nice space key reachable with the within thumb distance enter keys there no uh, mouse pointer or any sort of uh, special control keys on the keyboard and nothing on the on the outside very similar to the Nokia N810 which doesn't have the control on the outside so in terms of sizing it's uh, fairly fairly thick that's about 30 30 millimeters uh, in thickness so it's a lot bigger than the N810 about the same thickness as a round digital Everon or a gigabyte UMPC got a USB port uh, host and slave here uh, stylus goes in there we've got an SD slot on the top which will provide uh, access will provide capability for an optional GPS module and uh, there was an optional DVB-T module to go in the SD card slot. HSDPA and WiMAX options uh, can be built in internally. Uh, on the left hand side headphones, uh, volume rocker control and presumably the, the reset uh, button there on, on the left hand side. So this is going to be running on the uh, Intel Atom platform, that's Menlo, 1.2 gigahertz. Um, target battery life looks on the specifications to be three hours uh, on the specifications. Planned to be launched with the first uh, batch of mid devices coming in the middle of the year. Um, so we can expect June, July. And quick question, target market is global or global? global specifically Western Europe. And specifically Western Europe and America. So um, we can expect to see that from Abit later in the year. So design-wise, it's looking, looking pretty nice. Nice uh, metallic surround. It's said to be near, nearly the final design. So I'm looking forward to seeing this later in the year. Steve Payne, Chippy from CBIT 2008. Thanks for watching.